So hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Peter Rankin. And on our today's segment, I'm in University of Nairobi grounds. I'm joined with Josh Pat, uh, who is a student of electrical engineering at the University of Nairobi. He's also a publisher of a book that is meant to inspire the youths and the student all over the country. He scored an A minus, and that has been so inspiring about uh, doing this show. And I can't wait to hear from him. So how are you, Josh Pat? I'm very fine. Uh, so I'm joined here by a student of electrical and electronics engineering. Oh, that's amazing. So, Kusama, when you are a student of physics and mathematics? Yeah, physics and mathematics and chemistry. Yeah, okay, okay. Chemistry. Uh, so, I was born in the same high school. That's a day school. So, when you were high school, you were in school. So, when you were in high school, you were in high school. 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 So but sasa ina nimechagamka yani vipi ma, ma, maisha imekuaje Okay maisha mm -hmm. eh, ni kuendelea tu kukua mm -hmm. unaona there's need to kuchagamka mm -hmm. kuongea na watu mm -hmm. and speaking out what you can deliver to the world mm -hmm. So that's what I have studied about life mm -hmm. So tunahitaji tuzungumze na watu mm -hmm. and interact and tell people what we can do to them So iliendaje mpaka uka ukaanza kuandika kitambo na watu wengi kidogo kule nyumbani wanajua maisha yako ilikuwa tu maisha ya kutulia you are working hard as you are silent Okay ilianza hivi kuna shule nilikuwa nimeenda mm -hmm. e, kupeana motivation mm -hmm. Sasa yule mtu tulikuwa na yeye akanipea challenge akaniambia and you can write a very good book mm -hmm. Sasa mimi nika take, take the challenge mm -hmm. nika take the initiative mm -hmm. nikaamua kuandika kitabu mm -hmm. I wrote it within, within two months mm -hmm. kitabu yenye inahusu my story and my academic journey mm -hmm. how i became the most improved mm -hmm. and how and, and how the students can do things in the right way mm -hmm. so nika dika by the grace of god i managed to finish oh, hey, that's so fine that's so inspiring to sasikina si tunafanya proposal for the campus na kumaliza page 75 ni shida unaona you are out of words so kidogo kabla tuingie kwa issue ya kitambo yako atoza na pare success yako ya high school Jo believe ya success pale high school ndio ilikuchejea vitu. So kuna achievement to remake na kidogo nilisikia you are the best student in the country. So can you tell the viewers about that? Okay. It happened this way. When I was in high school, I started seeing things different than when I was in form 1. Nikigia form 1 nilianza kutia bidi right away from the introduction. Nikaanza kusubua walimu hivi. Nikaanza kutafuta maswali kusubua the other students from other forms. So, nika, so through that I, I started improving slowly slowly mm -hmm. uh, na venye kuna sehemu inasema ya Kaizen principle mm -hmm. continuous improvements mm -hmm. about continuous improvements mm -hmm. so after that nika nikaanza kuona i am making changes mm -hmm. the first exam we did in form 1 i became position 1 mm -hmm. with a b plus mm -hmm. now now the teacher who, who was my class teacher mm -hmm. akaanza he, he was very surprised by that achievement mm -hmm. And he he read out the achievement because I realized that Kusema, if I had I had cheated on the examination, so after after I'm finished exam, I'm happy. Teachers were very keen to check on what I did. And the second exam, I did I did I did it again. I did in a better way. I got an A minus. After that, I got an A minus. Now started teachers and everyone started seeing that these are my efforts. So afterwards, I started to improve. I started to see that hey, Kube is doing well. But even though I have a very bad attitude. So nikaendelea hivyo though kulikuwa na challenges hapa na pare za fees mm -hmm. za uh, kwenda shule ilikuwa shida because the school was very far away 4 kilometers away I remember, I remember. yeah yeah so i had to walk for like 2 8 kilometers to and fro mm -hmm. but afterwards nilienda nikazoea hiyo maisha mm -hmm. na sikukubali challenge yote ni ikuwe padashuka ama ikuwe nini mm -hmm. so i i struggled very hard mm -hmm. nikaanza kutumia what i can with the little i had and at last nikigea from 4 nikafanya KCSE kama kawaida but i never expected something big but out of grace of god nikajipata nimekuwa most improved na nimetangazwa in the whole country kuna saa zingine uki start you tuna tunazaka kule juu like you impress huu mtu ako kopoa bidi yake ameanza vizuri na jituma so pale high school uh, form 1 yes ulikuwa poa so what about life ya form 2 form 3 form 4 were the grades down ama tu ulikuwa average student ama pia ilikuwa ina kama kipanda Okay venye tu umesema ilikuwa ina kama ikipada juu sometimes you unajua kuna kitu wenye wewe unasema we don't win all the time sometimes we lose sometimes if we lose we win so and if we lose we take the lessons so nikiwa from 
ahead kuna friend ku imeniguza ya ku give up because the first exam we did in form 2 i was frustrated ni kuna exam ni aguka vibaya sana kama mawe yenye nilikuwa napenda nikapata nime aguka chini sana very far below average na nikaza kuona nina drop but through cooperation na watu who people who knew me nikaza kuona i am making changes so no matter what i face no matter the fear that i encountered i just had the momentum to rise up and fight back Uh. That's amazing. Ah uh, kuna watu pia wanasema asa zingine pale form 2 is your shaper. Form 2 na sasa tuko pale campus ya Kodia ni shaper. So form 2 ndio mtu anakuwa mbaya, mtu anajijua, mtu anaweza kujua wasichana. So how is your form 2 in terms of discipline? Discipline yako ishaanguka. Hasoa turejere a uh, form 2. Okay, discipline haiko imeaguka, but uliko unapata you are getting temptations to deal with friends in doing some acts that are not that are not in a, uh, that are in this print yeah. mm-hmm. so you could find like kuna friends wana ku charge like you are join mm-hmm. maybe sadi kutembea mm-hmm. sadi kwenda ku like kwenda movies yeah. kutafuta wasichana mm-hmm. but what i did mm-hmm. i avoided all this i stood as myself nikasema this is not what i want in life mm-hmm. i am for something great mm-hmm. so nikaanza kusetu na nikakuwa mimi nikakuwa yani ki mimi mm-hmm. uh. yeah, that's nice sisi wote duniani tunakuwa na shida moja consistency na watu wanasema it's the small thing you do today tomorrow and the day after it adapts ndio so always niambia ati we we'll wait up to christmas ndio tutaanza ku make christmas yetu ndio so we start by now our hard work do christmas tutasema pita amenua gari amempata kitu fulani so speaking of consistency uliwezaje hizi juhudi zako zote kuziadapt juma yusu wengi sasa hii yes nitakuwa na bwana leo kesho nianguke ni give up so how 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 can you term consistency to you okay consistency is like something you did yesterday mm-hmm. something you did the other day mm-hmm. you do it today and you do it tomorrow mm-hmm. so to be to be consistent in life we must like have a very strong principles mm-hmm. that before i sleep i must uh, i must sleep before, i must sleep after i have done this mm-hmm. so for me consistency is, is never easy like taking a book and reading is not easy mm-hmm. neither is it interesting mm-hmm. but you must cast yourself mm-hmm. at the end of this time i i, I want to have achieved this mm-hmm. if it is a business you must also be consistent because you must ask yourself at the end of this period mm-hmm. i want to have made a certain amount of money mm-hmm. and when you are not consistent mm-hmm. you shall fall back mm-hmm. and you shall not be able to achieve that goal mm-hmm. so what i did i just gained strong i, I just became strong mm-hmm. and gained my principles so i had a very strong principles but uh, that before i sleep if i was to read like chemistry or if i was to do this mm-hmm. i must do it before i sleep so it is just a state of mind just deciding Uh. So in mindset routine ana yani kujua regular yako la kila siku before i sleep i need to do this so that's very nice apart from high school uh, yes ku attain academic uh, qualification ni kitu kingine gani unasema so like maybe you can say aka ni economic ni regain social ni regain ni kitu gani kingine okay the gain the gain in the other side was not that significant because my social life was very down I became social when I joined campus or after, after I finished form 4. But I can say I achieved some things because I was able to interact with two or three friends there because I still ha- I still I still had time. I still sacrificed my time to interact with some two friends. So so I can say I, I learned something from friends. Okay. Uh. So na ukifanya hii mtihani ya form 4 kulikuwa na kitu ya mind you know the tendency of sisi tukua shule kumaliza mtihani tunasema ah ilikuwa rahisi yes Uh, si ati najisema but at least is kwa marks zangu je after ile form 4 KCSE ulikuwa na feeling like hii kitu naweza wai ama ama ilikuwaaje okay mimi kuna people zikuwa zimenikaria vibaya sana so kuna people nilikuwa very uh, less assured that in tapita like, so actually getting the a minor ilikuwa surprise you already kuna people zikuwa zimekaria mm. yeah getting a name is nice i was never expecting a name minus by the way I was expecting if it, it I was expecting a much more of B+. Plus. Yeah, they have much more grade that I would get because in papers like chemistry, physics, especially physics practical I missed. So I knew I would, I would fail physics. Na physics yenyewe ulipata ni A minus. So commerce so is is God's work. It's God's work. Even mess, see at my mess, umefanya vizuri. Ni maidi yako inakwambia mess kupi liko ikuleta A minus. Ah so na ukiangalia results as gine pale nyumbani Mwanzo mimi nakumbuka nikagalia results zangu tulikuwa tunajenga nyumba ndiko kazi ya mkono so mimi kupata actually by the way i was called university of mombasa technical university of mombasa 
but i miss too kwa jeroidi ni kwa excitement ya kamtu Nairobi so mimi nilisoma Technical University of Kenya so je wewe story yako ukiangalia hii resort the excitement of the excitement of seeing you have a name ina uko unafanya nini hiyo siku ni kitu kikam special ni kitu kikam special kwako ama ni kitu yenyewe tu you just check it you passed na ikaisha ili adaje were there celebration excitement what were you doing by then okay the only thing i was sure about ni kwa sure nitapata grade ya kuingia kampo nothing more i was expecting nothing more nothing more so hata resorts zikitoka siko na ile hamu kubwa niko na ngoja tu resorts zitoke nione chenye nimepata ni sokume maisha then niko je niingia kampo but so kwa most improved ni kitu ilinishtua by the way it took me long to believe that na pari bado atija get ah you have checked the resort sebe tu ndo kwa peke yako ama ulikuwa na mama pale nyumbani ukapata uko na minus what's the reaction by that point even i not check the resorts okay what happened mimi nilikuwa kwa shaba we tulikuwa kwa shaba na brother yangu sasa rafiki yangu akani join aiyo akaanza kusema resorts zinatoka leo sasa sisi wote tukaenda kwa tv kwa garia sasa hata tumeenda kwa tv nikakumbuka ile mess nilikuwa nimefanya ya zira some papers so mimi nikawaambia eh eh mimi hapa sitaka sitagojea um, uh, the sea strategy resorts mimi nikajitoa after kujitoa ni wakaanza kuniita wakaanza kuniambia nimetajwa na cs oh just <laughs> your name your yeah. We we ume help us ndio. Hey, Then afterwards wanakuambia tumesikia jina yako kuja. Uh, so now ni kukibia kusikia tena. Hey, Siasa ametaja. Yeah. Na sasa hiyo tu I remember you used to go to the same school kwa kwa Ocha Gisha Gis ndio. So your name uh, being mentioned in the country already ni big deal. Mm. Na hata hujajua umepata nini. Si so uliko na expect jina yako isitajwe na kusiku ya kuna grizi nzuri. So already that time una no sharp pass. Uh, okay, jina yako kutajwa ni kitu sige why that nigga happen mimi nilikuwa tu nadhani resorts zinaachirwa to check to check mtu i don't know shughuli zake so mimi nilipofikia nimetajwa hai nilishtuka tu mara moja hai nikashangaa could this be me so nikakibia kwa tv sasa kukibia nikaanza kuona kama u just fat mwagi most improved yeah ilikuwa ilikuwa set zen i remember it was set zen hapo chini and it was live nikasikia tena cs amerudia tena Eh hey, so mimi nikashtuka nikashaga ai mzazi yako wapi sasa hiyo sasa hizo mzazi hakuna hakuna mzazi alikuwa hapo ilikuwa mimi brother yangu na huyo rafiki yangu sasa so, sasa so, so, mimi nikashtuka ai but bado nashtuka but bado na najaribu na, 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 kuimagine is this a dream <laughs> but naona this is my name na nimesema mero secondary eh hey, so nikaanza kufurahia eh hey, nilisikia nimebabika but bado sijaona resorts zangu na before sasa hapo kwa kweli resort uh were there friends who came through teachers uh th- that moment maybe in terms of course maybe tumeona jina yako maybe at a neighbors ku come yani in in like about that minutes after did you did you get some calls some uh, promises from people ama kulia daje okay tulifanya hivi after tumeona jina yako hapo tulishikana na that friend of mine tukatokea kwa barabara sasa so, kutokea kwa barabara sasa babangu alikuwa hapo kwa barabara sasa kani akaanza kupigiwa simu sasa just mimi nilikuwa tu na sim card nikamwambia anijege simu i trust it myself so before i could check the results nikaona gari ya mwalimu wa high school yenye nilikuwa imekuja and it was approaching the direction hapo shira kirago it was mr kanene my business and studies teacher so akakuja akasimama kaniambia congratulations but mimi nashaga ameniambia congratulations mimi ile grade yenye najua nimepata ni A- of 79 yenye ndiona kwa TV but mimi sijagaria nikajua mathematics i have this chemistry i have this so mimi nikamwambia nionyeshe results but hako nionyesha sasa mimi venye nilikuwa nimetokea ni venye nilikuwa kwa shaba saka niambia niingie kwa gari yake na guza shaba venye nilikuwa sripa zilikuwa tunazita gaje mafrotas sasa mimi nikaingia kwa gari yake akaniambia tuingie na babangu sasa sisi tukaelekea shule yenye nilikuwa sasa. So umetajwa kwa TV na CS, the most improved student in the yes. country. Ah yes. uh, mathematics teacher and business teacher yeah. amekama kapaka hapo kwenu. Yeah. Wewe nyuma kutoka kwa shamba anakwambia uingie. Yaani na nakuingia na kwambia uingie na babako muende shule yenye mlikuwa. Yeah, tole shule yenye mlikuwa. Wow. Uh-huh. Some media people mm. are trying to press the na, na, na that time hakuna kitu ni kuhit me hivi na nafaa kufanya usafi kidogo, you know the rooks ah ile kubabika yenye nilikuwa nimebabika nayo sikuwa nafikiria kitu kama hiyo i get it eh sasa tulipigia kwa gari tukaenda shule so remember we are three of us now my dad yeye na mimi 
sasa mimi mimi venye watu walijana kwa shule sikubukage jo niliona tu watu wamekuwa kumi. at last watu wamejana hapo even you cannot be able to count people remember we si mtu akuongea sana si mtu watu sana so this is a new world now this is a new world something nilikuwa na i was very shy but uh, i can but i was very happy but yeah but at the same time i was shy so nilikuwa naona watu wanakuja wanapigwa picha venye tu nilikuwa but wanababika tu they are enjoying having a photo with you so me bado sijaona results sana nikaambia mwalimu no nionyeshe results zangu someone mudi alikuja akanionyesha results zangu and it gave me conf- more confidence like anionyesha this is me yeah this is me uh. Oh that's amazing. Ah kuna hawa watu walikamu umepass yani kikiki watu wako hapo people are excited. Uh, did someone come maybe to promote you? Ama vile umetoka kwa shamba this what I have to give to you congratulations ama idea. Yeah yeah. Hiyo yeah. siku mm-hmm. kuna watu walikuwa na nipea pesa. Mm-hmm. For example that day I pocketed uh, about 5000. Kuna watu walijitolea wakanipea pesa. So wewe na nguo zako za shamba nikupewa ukirusha eh. na picha. So I imagine that time celebrate picha leta nyingi kufuko. Eh hey, picha zilikuwa mob sana. Na ukumbuke hiyo yes. hiyo time hauna simu. So actually what's that what's that nini your mind ki pocket your cash? Uh, I was very happy about it. Yeah. Uh, Pengine about plans about phone ama huko worried na vitu kama hizo. Sikuwa worried. Yaani nilikuwa nime hiyo hiyo joy hiyo hiyo joy moment ilikuwa imenifuga tu. Mimi nilikuwa tu nababika tu. Did church come through pengine kuchangia maybe kukusponsor sponsor shule kidogo ama ku celebrate? Okay the church celebrated me. In fact the vicar in charge mm-hmm. I didn't pay a pesa fran na kaniambia I have done well na ni address to evil. Oh, that's so fine. Kuna community the school the church it come through. So what about it I umefanya hizo achievements zote even before meeting government. In government I mean uh, representative from the government so that is the MP uh, Mr Peter Kimari. Before at a meeting with Mr Peter Kimari pare ivo did the people came maybe about to sponsor your education campus ivo ama ile daje Okay kuna watu walijitokeza wengi like Peter Kimari had promised that day that atanifunza and in fact he honored the promise you right now men it appear from first year to that year around 80000 it was full amount full settlement of the fees yani mzazi wangu hajatoa anything kwa shule yani wewe uko campus like ni free so you you are the you are the enjoyment of the free education sisi leo tuna enjoy free primary Oh no you please come So so you maybe hapa you settle your bills maboya upkeep hivyo tu peke na books only the upkeeps Yeah you do to who wanna settle That's fine So na maybe you keep in touch do you keep in touch with the Mathieu MP Yes we, we in terms of in terms of an in telephone I mean that Yes we keep Yeah who wanna keep in touch I'm it's about you pengine kumtumia nini yako report card yako Yeah he do keep in touch ju huwa nafuatilia my how i am in school he do a follow up then at the end of the year he usually ask for the results slip yeah so i can say he does a follow up yeah, that's amazing so we can say uh, you are the project of nini mama the mp yes so yeah akiritaya anajua akiritaya into politics ama kama ataendelea anajua i have i, I, I have created a legend somewhere yes in fact i can i can say m- m- mr peter kemari He has done a lot. He has really helped me. Yeah. I mean njaga kimasomo, motivation. I can say he has done the best in my education. Oh, uh. That's why eh hey, kuongea na MP si unasikia poa. Ai hey, sana sana. <laughs> that's why I see you post nini good content because you know someone is watching. True true. <laughs> okay okay. Ah uh, so uh, so nani ali come uh, nini government ili come through community. Ah uh, so na wakati ume join ni ni, 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 ni campus Had you had some problems here now when you project your community when you project your church when you project your shule meko gari ya juu when you project your gava the someone sitting in parliament akisema kuna kijana wangu ada kio bado anasema uh, help me and geos help me because i have a, i have a certain person i'm educating so wewe ufi raji na uko ndani keep in mind in mind campus kuna pressure ni keep unda kufanya hivi unakumbuka kuna watu fulani wameniangalia ya juu what helps you okay what helps me a lot Okay I fear fading. Personal I fear fading. So I fear that embarrassment that can come with fading. Like when people say ah this student improved the most and now this is what he has done. He has become a failure. Personally that fear of fading helps makes me do responsible responsible things. So it makes me responsible in school. 
it makes it makes sure I do things in the right way, and it makes sure that I do things that can please those people to make sure that they remain they remain consistent in following me up. Yeah. Uh, so na 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 campus uneza describe campus nasa ko describe campus jiamunda useme in three words in three words how you can describe you and us uh, campus life hapa. Okay, campus hapa I can only say it is a matter of choices. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So cho cho choices represent all the rewards. Yeah, it so it's everything. Uh, uh. Choices. So uh, kidogo, uh, nikotaka kuuliza sasa uko hapa campus. Uh, maybe home do keep in touch with uh, teachers from Miro, maybe watu wengine kwa society isipokuwa the MP. Yes, we do keep in touch. Like na unanga like sometimes nikienda huko nyumbani, unaonaanga mtu ameniuliza, "Hey kijana, are you still reading?" So your kitu in that magand at least sometimes ni a responsible person. You know naga many people are looking at me. They are looking how I am doing at campus. They really want to hear how far I am at campus. Una naga wengine wakikuuliza na huko masomo ikoaje. They just want to hear everything from you. Yeah. Uh, so sasikina tuko campus we do have so we to party upkeep. Uh si lazima upkeep but pengine ku create job opportunities ama kuanzianzisha. So like do you use your free time here hassling ama ile miaka ya bayo ulifanya hiyo kazi ulifanya wapi did you like did you become a peer teacher at some point na sasa hiyo ukienda home unafanya gani ni mostly okay about peer teaching i have done in schools like Miro and Kirit girls i have done peer teaching then for the mobut hassling when i am not in school like when we have ended the semester or the year i usually do like uh, academic writings because because they are they are very flexible I can be able to do them wherever I am. So I just pursue academic writings. Hey, that's amazing. So about uh, touching up on another one is a mehiki dogo about being in new para creative girls. You know your personality is very interesting. Uh, to go para high school, how uh, come to go again? What Now, you may succeed. What women are forced? You go and say, what women? People are taking pictures with me. People are making me speak. Now, kubuka si kwa mtu wa kuongea. Now, uh, you want me to go to teach to creative girls. And they have to do this thing just to a family poor. And but oh, I have to give my knowledge to others. I have to guide others. So your pressure, how do you cope with it and you deliver it in creative girls? Being, it's a girl zone, madam wana kuchare, you know, na? temptations. How did you cope with that? Okay, I, to cope with that, I only said this is what I want to do in this school. I, just, I have just come to this school to impact. So if anything narrows, I just ignored. I just focused on my aim. Aya, na ni kuriza. Lakini yeye ni yetu na he. Did you experience any any ni pare kama kijana ni charge pare kriti girls ama kukosi ama kukosi mashida? Okay, hakuwezi kosa. But you do know when you are a strong ad priesthood, you shall have to everything. Lakini kuhu me pass watu na kuagopa na kama kwa unapochapo. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's the best thing. Ukure juu na he, msena na wagopa kukuchezea. So guys after this break we are talking we will be talking about his book and his uh what is inside his book. So welcome back Chris are uh, here. What's the book about by Josh Pat? So how do you feel being the youngest author I know? It is really a joy, a great joy because this is a very great achievement. Mm -hmm. Comparing with the challenges I've gone through to come up with this book, it is really a great joy to me. Then ni kontaka kuuliza to go to go to compare home uh pengine si tumesomea shule ya ucha we know that huko na knowledge how how is to write a book as in how did you come paka ukaza kuandika kitabu yako is it a person who guided you ama kulia daje okay i can say this it is out of charge i was charged by someone he's my mentor anaitwa mr samuel kaja alienda kan charge akaniambia na kwani ni hujai andika kitabu so that charge itself ilituma niweze kuwa accountable nikaanza kuandika kitabu na bado nikiaza nilikuwa siko naamini na ezaandika kitabu because i hated personally I hated writing i hated something to do with composition siko na zipenda so mimi nikiaza kuandika ilikuwa inafika pari na choka but out of that challenge i got, I got from him nikaanza kukuwa very responsible and consistent when you to mesema at the last nikajipata niko na our pdf uh. na, so uh, now ume, ume script a pdf how did it go as in your knowledge ya kutafuta maybe publisher editor ili adaje did someone come through to guide you yes that mentor mr samuel kaja mm -hmm. ari ni guide akani connect with the publisher kwenye akona shares himself akanisaidia na everything 
na ni amekuwa akinisimamia everything na at least akanisaidia kutoa kitabu oh nataka uonyeshe the viewers the book utajeka hii vitu kaka kwa camera tutaiona so this is the book uh, so that's how it looks cover page ni jina ni picha yake uh, it's written the student propera making it regardless uh, kuna jina yake pale na achievement yake na nyuma iko na hikara so as an artist uh, as a, a student of mass communication so nataka kukuuliza yani as an artist people choose karas because of uh, maybe identity or a meaning bona kukaenda ukachoose hii kare ya blue nyuma maybe unaona theme mm-hmm. yake ni blue na white na red mm-hmm. this kara i chose blue because mm-hmm. blue is a very calm kara mm-hmm. personal i love blue yeah. so i chose it because it is a very calm kara mm-hmm. it is it is one of my favorites mm-hmm. and it shows the some it shows a, a great thing mm-hmm. as i view it mm-hmm. yeah, you have the white white mm-hmm. I posted the white because it is a like a reflection. Mm-hmm. I wanted to show that there is a it is like a right. Yeah. 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 Then we have red. Red because I wanted to show some power, some power. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's fine. So, na saa zingine kwa kitabu hapa bere inakuwa like ni mchoro wa siba, like a mchoro wa yani kitu symbolic. But here we have your picture uko umeduka vizuri fresh hapa na tai. Uh, so bona bo, bona kuweka picha yako uh, si picha ya mrima si picha ya mtu wa pengine alikuwa amevaa ile gauni ya graduation pengine mtu na drive pengine mtu akona macho nzuri akawa ame succeed uweka picha yako okay sababu moja ya kutuma niweke picha yangu mm-hmm. i wanted people to see this is me mm-hmm. i wanted nilikuwa nataka watu waone it is me mm-hmm. i wanted to so for people who is reading this book because this is a motivational book mm-hmm. nilikuwa nataka mtu mwenye taisoma mm-hmm. Awe, aweze kulirate. Yeah. So you wanted a bit of personification is ni kama ni fantasy. You know when people see mountain what a fantasy is. But when people see it's a real person who has really achieved at least they can relate. Yeah, niko nataka watu wa relate. Then when I put my picture here, the motivation that is in this book or the storyline of the book, watu wataweza kulirate in an easy way kuliko venye nigeka kitu kingine. Yeah. Okay then hapa chini me dedicate the most improved state nationally that was 2018 uh, then we have subjects in your pass na around me hapa uh, tukiangalia vizuri uh, naona ni zile grades za nyari pass sana uh, ulikuwa na a is 4 a minus b b plus 1 na b minus 1 so b minus ilikuwa ni kiingereza so <laughs> na kiswahili bado liko na b plus but being weak uliko na b minus bado liko na pass i think we got the same grade in, in english na mimi nasema niko nasema najua kizungu <laughs> na wewe unasema ujui ati uko nini ati ulikuwa huku pass so what can you say about his languages uh, in campus have they affected you uh, yes they have affected me because most of the things that we have been told by our english teacher zina come through nikiwa campus ndipo unaona you need to have a good communication here mm-hmm. you need to have a good interaction here mm-hmm. you need to know how to win people in terms of argument mm-hmm. so those are the things that we are taught in high school mm-hmm. they are coming to fulfill when i am in campus and when i am approaching or talking to other students these are these not money on the real thing of languages yeah. uh, just part mwangi did uh, his kcp in 2014 he scored 278 marks out of 500 Uh, he did his KCSC 2018 he scored an A minus of 77 points so that's a transition from an average student to an excellent student how did that come okay it came through a, var- a variety of factors mm-hmm. like the, f- the first factor that enabled me most was uh, i was a good time manager niko na manage time yangu vizuri na out of that time management niko naweza ku achieve most of the things in a little time the other thing was i was very humble I accepted to run from my mistakes and to be corrected by the teachers. Mwalimu akiniambia hapa just what umefanya vibaya, I was very quick to take action. Na next time siko na I was never repeating a mistake. Then the third thing out of all I can say it is that self belief. Niko na jiaminia na niko naamini what I am doing and I believed in myself. Ebook. Sana sana when people peruse pages unasoma mpaka page 10, watu wengine si ushido kuendelea. What do you feel ni special in as a make mse a read all the pages here? Okay, what is unique here? Mm-hmm. Enyo tapata kwa ebook. Mm-hmm. It can challenge you mentally. Mm-hmm. 
it can change the state of mind inaweza change the way you think and you start thinking differently inaweza tuma when you kuna ona ai mimi ni mtu bure ama when you kuna ona mimi ni mtu obvio tu inaweza tuma uone wewe ni mtu ni mtu bora na ni mtu mwenye anaweza kuwa an important person tomorrow so hii kitabu just to preempt hii kitabu iko na a variety of motivations na ina capture my story line it is using my story line to give the best so ukisoma story yangu hapo unajua venye nilipeana my story si kupeana in details venye that how I used to do i gave it in general way because it was uh, in a few minutes but hii kitabu ina capture from a to z of what can benefit mwana mwana mwenyako hapo when i shoot from a d minus or a, from a d from a b i made it to the next level even with four grades so kitoma hichi kitabu cha student propera kimekuinua kabisa yeah. okay that's nice and how many how many uh, how many books have you ever, have you managed to publish so far i have 500 copies so i can urge anyone mwenye anaza taka kusoma kitabu na mwenye anataka maisha yake ibadilike na ikue upya tena unaweza nitafuta niko na 500 copies they are very available how do you sell per copy how much do you sell per copy each copy is 500 shillings yeah or in terms of maybe watu wenye wana watch wakuwa countryside or away from here in Nairobi do you make deliveries maybe in postal deliveries yes i can do postal deliveries that's, that's okay so just come hapo kwa your contact details na how you can people can reach you uh, so na like did it cost much to maybe do the publishing yes it costed na maybe the ni pras gani uh, i don't intend to dig deep into you but ni pra, uh, did you had a plan of uh, publishing junajua to raise uh, that fee of to publish the books si mchezo like what was the strategy okay the strategy okay kuna venye nilikuwa na connection ya kuna mtu that that meant as amor kaja alinisaidia alisaidia kugather some money na kanisaidia kutoresha so i can i can attribute this to the samuel kaja kai gekuwa ni mimi i would have the pdf with me i did not nigekuwa tu nayo kwa kwa laptop na hige na kuku gekuwa na ile change that's why na market market yako hizi books sana sana huko wapi na how many pages how many copies have you managed to sell so far i have managed to sell about 40 copies and the my marketing you can i have posted on facebook i usually use my whatsapp i use friends teachers i use people everywhere anyone i come across i use him na hii book ina kampi hata venye iko and i don't believe umechomoa ile mpya kabisa ukaniletea so meaning uh, you are publishing ilimalizika juzi like process ile ilikuwa ulimaliza lini ku publish about 2 weeks ago so 2 weeks ago 40 copies yes that's amazing so pia uh, and I, i want you as you adapt you tell the viewers uh, one last word and then you tell how you, can you know that is vitambo Uh, okay i want you to speak to the viewers i will give you the microphone one be something about the book what what can yani ita 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 itawasaidia wakisoma alafu how to reach to you you can even give give them the your phone number okay kitu yenye na sasa about the book hiki kitabu it has everything that students need iko na kila kitu cha mwanafunzi anahitaji So ukiona kuna uko na high school hapo frani mwenye ame give up na arrive mwenye anahitaji motivation student propera is the best this book is the best for that student mwana kuzi mwenye yani ana give up mwenye anaona she or he is not making any change student propera is the best book ama ile mwanafunzi mwenye ako shule dogo mwenye anaona shule yenye yako haifai student propera is the best book for that for him or her ama ile mwanafunzi mwenye anahitaji to be psyched up yani una feel I am doing the best thing mm-hmm. but I feel to be psyched up mm-hmm. this is the best book okay. so what I can say something something little to mention about the book hii kitabu mwenye anaocha ama mwanafunzi mwenye anagaria hii kitabu it can help you to fight your weaknesses it can boost your grades utoke from a D to a C plus and you become a university material inaweza ku boost you to pursue a good course yeah so just look at just try to look at the book kama kama una una ni watch unaweza niagaria tutapeana my details unitafute and I shall make sure the copy reaches you nataka useme hapa unajitaji facebook na namba yako ya simu ni ya whatsapp this a free chance sema zote okay in facebook naitwa just fat kamau just my two names 
kwa WhatsApp my 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 contact is 07 48 78 It is available on WhatsApp and it is the same contact in Facebook. Even you can reach me via messaging or even calls. So just what Mwangi is a student at the University of Nairobi, uh, which campus? University of Nairobi. Which campus? Sc campus? School of Engineering. I believe it's the main campus. So once you come up to Nairobi, you come to visit my Jamawako, you come to visit my Jamawako, you come to visit my At this uh, point, uh, so I do give the visitor or the person on set uh, or the interviewee to end the show. So here comes the chance. So would I end? Okay. The first thing is to thank Mr. Peter. Yeah. This is Peter Rankin Channel. Yeah. So now I see you what I'm watch my fans what I'm going to subscribe to YouTube. I'm going to your content. I'm going to content safi sana. So I'm going to put it in Just promote Banzi. Now I'm going to show you what I'm going to do Peter Rankin on YouTube. We boost this person, this growing person. Yeah. yeah. So now I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with student propera. Na every time you get up, just add, add out after notification up, just click the bell and we support Peter Rankin. So thank you so much. Uh, the person behind the camera is a bookie. Check him on Instagram. Thank you.